Welcome back to another painting session. Like I said in the previous video, I will be doing, um, I, I think I ordered it something similar to the orientation of painting panels I had of the con consumption of color painting, um, but this is what I meant. A separate pieces of paper conjoined together to make one big piece of paper. Um, I don't have pieces of paper this wide so I do have to make smaller pieces and then tape them together so I can't um, I can't just cut them out just normally out of a raw piece I had to put them together so that's the meaning of all of this I don't have wide enough paper the, the, the length is fine but the width isn't so I do have to cut out multiple pieces um, another thing you might notice is I have no paint cans here that's because I uh, recently got new paint, so much so that I had to stash it in a new uh, space. I can't really put it down. I don't want to stick to uh, the paint or smash the, um, the paper down. But this is um, a lot of paint, and I have it on top of a top of a barrel, so I don't have to bend down to get. It. So yeah, a lot of paint over there. Um, I haven't counted it, but it's a lot. Um, anything else? No, uh, actually there is one thing. Along with the other paint I got, I got gold paint. And I do plan to use it for uh, another thing I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. I am very excited about this. Even just looking at the stencils for this gives me a lot of hope that this might go very, very well. I got the idea of this from another spray artist, uh, a British one, to my knowledge, uh, named John Barber. I've mentioned him before um, many videos ago, but I changed it up a bit. Um, he had his orientation switched, so this up, this down, um, and I, I'm going to do something different in the middle. I'm taking inspiration. I am not copying this man's work. It was great as it was. Um, and I'm not going to try to copy that just for the record. I'm taking inspiration and doing my own things as you might already see. Um, there's some things in his painting I do plan to um, do differently, many things in fact, like the orientation, I think it would be a bit better to have it like this. Um, I'm going to use different colors. I'm going to be having a different galaxy in the middle because he had um, a galaxy of um, like black surrounded by these colors. I'm going to have something a bit different um, where the colors are going to be a bit more prevalent and I'm going to blend in much more than what he uh, did. He, I don't think he planned to blend it in, he just wanted the colors around it. He also put these big stars uh, in the middle of the galaxy. He said himself he didn't really like it, um, and I agree with him, so I'm not gonna be putting them in. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be doing the, the similar sort of blending in of galaxies I did on the last video. Um, what did I call it? Eh, I forgot, um, but the last video, if you haven't seen that, I do encourage you to do that. It is the best of its kind. Um, if you don't know, big painting, three triangles, I split them up with tape. I think it's the best one I've done so far of that type of painting. And I've done, I think, five, four of those so far. So it's the most repeated type of painting I've done, so by far. So, but this, this will be different. I will be doing overlapping of planets. This will be um, under, this will be over. Um, you know what I mean once I get started. Anything else? No. Huh. That should be it. Yeah. I'm really hoping this turns out well. Of course, that's all up to me. But y'all, y'all just sit and watch. I grab a drink if you want as I will be spending some time on this maybe not as long as the other painting 
but sometime. I will spend some time on this um, to get it just right, as I think it might might be the best one I've done, if if I do it well. Um, hopefully that's not foreshadowing of something I um, do very badly. That would be uh, very unfortunate if it was. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Like I said, again, I will start the time lapse and let y'all see the magic.
here is the finished product. Well, um, it's not the perfect thing I was hoping for, but it did get pretty close. I'm gonna say right now that my phone can't pick up what's actually here, but I'll try to get close later um, so I could try to do that. There are some issues with this, um, and I'm gonna step down to show you. Uh, the main one is the peelings on this uh, on these planets here of course and here pretty big one um this came off pretty well better than i expected there were at least some over here some here but it kind of blends in uh, the green planet came off very well um these plants are fine. I was actually very surprised that the glass didn't mess anything up. It usually does. Um, so, yeah, the, the galaxy is a bit, well, over here it's a bit um, more defined. But as you go along, especially in the middle, you can't really see it as much. Um, not for me anyway. As much as I'd like. So, that's a bit unfortunate. So, um, anything else? Yeah, not, not anything pretty bad. Some like very small, uh, very big stars. I didn't mean to put down, but just Nick picks. Planets are all right. Not good, not bad. Some of them good, some of them bad. Or not bad, but not as good. Like this planet, um, I wanted a bit more yellow out of it, uh, more vibrance. But, of course, yellow being yellow, it dulls way too quickly. I could not have that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna zoom in now. Try to get all the fine details in. Sorry if any of the aspect ratios come off a bit, wo a bit wonky. They usually do have something wrong with them. I try to um, zoom out a bit so I can edit further to not let it happen later on. Hopefully that does a good job, but who knows. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Not the best thing I was looking for, um, but it's all right, it's okay. I'm, try I'm gonna try to go up. Actually, I'm gonna go back on the chair. Give me a moment. So y'all can have bird, bird's eye view while I have the outro. I hope you have enjoyed the process and product of this painting, or painting session, as much as I have. Um, the next painting I plan to have um, the same uh, individual paintings, all, all three of them, but they're going to be aligned a bit differently. This will stay the same, but these will go in the middle. So this a tiny bit up, this a tiny bit down. So I have straight line of um well just equal um about they're not going to be shifted over downwards upwards what have you and um, it would just be middle but the sides would just be smaller um i hope that i explained that enough if not you'll find out when i eventually post it two days later or one day three days it, it's about two days and that's when i'm going to try to make it um, yeah, yeah, that, that's it. I hope you, I see you on that next painting, painting session. And of course, until that time, hopefully I've, I will see you then. Bye-bye.